Eric Ten Hag has urged his players to turn Manchester United's season around, and potentially save his job, by knocking Liverpool out of the FA Cup on Sunday. United face their bitter rivals in a mouth-watering quarter-final at Old Trafford looking to progress in the only competition they still have a chance of winning. Qualifying for the Champions League and lifting the FA Cup could yet hold the key to Ten Hag surviving a summer of change under United's new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe. And the Dutchman believes victory can be the catalyst to a surge that would make all the difference to a troubled campaign. Go and play and get the turnaround, was Ten Hag's rallying cry to his players on Friday. Some games are bigger than others and Manchester United Liverpool is always a big game, especially when it's the quarter-final of the FA Cup. We're looking forward to it. We have another opportunity to get momentum. The team showed lately that we are in a very good series of games, so they have the belief they can do it. Now we have to take the momentum and that is also what I feel when I train with them and around the games, they have the belief, good confidence and good spirit in the team. The uncertainty over Ten Hag's future has also left his coaching staff in limbo. United players are increasingly doubtful their boss will survive if he fails to make the Champions League or lift a trophy. Even if Ratcliffe keeps faith with him, there are no guarantees his backroom team will be retained. Significant changes are being made to the setup, with Dan Ashworth taking over as director of football and Jason Wilcox set to become technical director. Ten Hag and his assistants Mitchell van der Gogh and Steve McLaren signed three-year contracts when he moved to United in 2022. Others, such as forwards coach Benny McCarthy, will be out of contract in June and have been seeking assurances over their futures. McCarthy is popular with the squad, but risks being stranded if he turns down other offers, stays at the club, and then Ten Hag is sacked. All of which raises the stakes for tomorrow's clash with Liverpool. We play against a good team, said Ten Hag. We know where their strengths are, but also where their weaknesses are. We need our best to beat them.